Jamar Morrison, one of the biggest names in Hollywood. We know him first as Django Fett and then Boba Fett. But recently, Mr. Morrison has been very vocal about Disney Star Wars and his future of the franchise. Let's talk about it. When it comes to Tomorrow Morrison, he is no stranger to Star Wars. He first appeared in the 2002 Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones as the Mandalorian bounty hunter Jango Fett, who is also the father and clone donor of Boba Fett. Well, recently, we all know that Tomorrow Morrison has reprised his role to the Fett lineage as Boba Fett in the Disney's Plus new original series, The Book of Boba Fett. But recently, Tomorrow Morrison has been very vocal about his role and his leadership and his role in the franchise in the future of Star Wars. He has been very vocal about the Mandalorian appearing in his show and how the Mandalorian took two episodes of his show where he felt that his character could have had a little bit more leeway and a little bit more storytelling and world building around his character. Recently in an interview, he said, and I quote, I was supposed to be in the Mandalorian season three, but nobody rang me. I was waiting for the phone call in New Zealand, waiting and wanting to give up. So apparently Disney Lucasfilm, nobody called tomorrow Morrison. No one called him and asked him to be in series three of the Mandalorian. And that was very disappointing to him. That was very upsetting. And Apparently, guys, he really wanted to be in the show. He really wanted to reprise his role as Boba Fett and give us an awesome performance and, you know, be in the show. I mean, as Boba Fett, Boba Fett is indeed a Mandalorian. You know, his father was a Mandalorian. We saw his his lineage chain code embedded it in his armor when he uh, approached Bo-Katan and Bo-Katan asked him, you know, if he's a true Mandalorian or what, you know, from his bloodline and lineage. And he really, Tamar Morrison really wanted his character to be in The Mandalorian Season 3. And it was only right because Pedro Pascal, Mandalorian character, took two episodes from the book of Boba Fett when the show could have at least done the character a little bit more justice. So Tamar Morrison thought it was only right for him to appear in two episodes of The Mandalorian Season 3. He goes on to say, and I quote in an interview, well, that Mando guy stole a few chapters of my book. It was painful watching him turn up with some black new lethal sword. And the way he turned up in the book of Boba Fett, he just destroyed everybody. I'm sure this guy is uh, ruining my show, but I couldn't say anything. I'm not the writer, so I have to bear with it, I guess. This is kind of upsetting, guys. You know, I really, really wanted to see Tamar Morrison come back and reprise his role as Boba Fett. Will this put a bad taste in Mr. Morrison's mouth? We do not know. Will he show up later on in season two of Book of Boba Fett if Disney decides to do so? Why didn't John Favreau and Dave Filoni reached out to him or called them? How do we know if they actually reached out to him and called them? Even though Mr. Morrison said that they didn't, what if Disney stopped? dave and john from doing so i don't know guys i'm sure there's a lot much more to this i'm sure we'll hear some more information about mr morrison and what he's going to do with his character what disney will decide to do with the book of boba fett personally i really hope that we get a season two of book of boba fett there's so much more story to tell with boba and tatooine and moss Eisley and moss Espa and him being the crime lord um, I really believe that there's just so much more world building and character development that we need to see out of Boba. And it's just the possibilities are endless. So the only thing we can do, guys, is wait and see. And let's just hope that Disney stands by Tamar Morrison and bring him back as Boba. Let's hope that Tamar Morrison actually wants to come back now and be Boba, especially having this, you know, rough little experience between disney and lucasfilm if you guys enjoyed what you saw make sure you hit that like button notifications bell and that way you know when i upload my videos to youtube this is the way may the force be with you